question the concept of blaming. Put your hands together for a minute. When something bad happens, most people, I think, they tend to blame the immediate actors that caused that whatever evil incident. Uh, well, I'm going to elaborate on that uh, during my speech, but I have a 30 seconds video. Let's watch this short video and then I will go. <coughs> <laughs> okay, these three people, they are called today, they are called Islamophobic people. Okay, well, I think they know something. They are just not people, they are afraid because they are crazy. They have a point here. We all know that in today's world, Western countries, people of the Western countries, they blame Islamic people of being potential terrorists. On the other hand, the Islamic people, or the peoples from the Islamic countries, they blame the Western world of being Islamophobes. They are saying, well, they have no reason, they are afraid of us, they are, they are Islamophobes. Why do they do this? I think both sides have a point, and we have to elaborate, we have to think about their points. Why is that so? If we go back to 2001, from the incident of 9-11 in New York, this concept raised all over the world, as we know. There was an attack uh, to the Twin Towers in New York, many people died, and since then, I'm not going to count all the incidents that happened until uh, since then, but exactly one year ago, today, or 7th of uh, January, I think, there was, a, uh, there was an attack in Charlie Hebdo office in Paris, and 12 people died there. The reason was that this magazine was, I'm quoting, insulting Islam, or insulting the Prophet, as they did for all the other Prophets of the other religions. But two uh, brothers, Sharif and Sayyid, I think, they killed 12 people there. And since then, we have witnessed in Turkey and in France, in all over the, uh, the world, hundreds of people died with suicide bombs. So, what I'm here uh, that I would like to tell you is not the real reason. I cannot tell you the real reason why those things happened. But I'm just asking you to consider what happened right after and right before those incidents. After the Charlie Hebdo attack in Paris, the USA Today newspaper published an article. The headline of the article was they were justifying the article from the words of Muhammad. They said, those who insult prophets should face death. Also in Turkey, Two newspapers, Yeni Akit and Turkey. Their headlines were Attack on the magazine that provoked Muslims. And the others, Attack on the magazine that insulted our prophet. So, just pause three seconds and think. Think of those headlines. Those headlines are actually supportive of the killers. 
So that's that's it with the killers. Let's talk about the suicidal bombers. How come those poor guys become suicide bombs, bomb bombers? Of course, Quran doesn't say that you have to kill uh, and get killed and so on. We know that there is a concept of being shades, that the Arabic for martyr. If you die for Islam, what does that mean? This is not. This doesn't exist in Quran, as we know. But Quran is not the only guide for Islam. This also we know. There is six books which are compiled and they are called hadith. That means the acts and sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. And those six books are called the Authentic Six. They are uh, written in the 9th century. And in one of the books, which are universally accepted by the Sunni sector of Islam, in one of the books written by Al-Tirmidhi, it talks about what the martyrs will get, what the shahids will get, as soon as they arrive in heaven. They are going to get seven to two virgin, virgins, which are called Huris, and it is very detailed. There is a very detailed description of those Huris, and I quote, She is of white color and no menopause, no pregnancy, and no toilet activities. A girl of tender age, having large round and pointed breasts, which do not dangle, I looked up the meaning of dangle, it means hang or swing loosely. Uh, the erection of the shade is eternal. So think about, please think about those poor ignorant people, which are, which are brainwashed by the people around. Go to YouTube and try to find the Palestinian television's scenario of the paradise that these guys describe and think for yourselves before blaming at the first glance of an incident. <laughs>